Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is my personal top 10 spray guns on the market at the moment. I'll be giving you guys a quick run through the settings and then just a quick look at each gun and the kind of finishes that we can achieve with it. Every single gun on this list gets a thumbs up by me, otherwise it would not make the list. Number 10 on the list is the very first spray gun I ever bought, which is the original GTI. I'm using it here with the 110 air cap on it. There was the option for the 105 air cap, which was the the HVLP air cap but it really wasn't that popular not among the painters that I ever worked with anyway so it was always 110 all the way made by Devilbus in the UK obviously to top quality standards 15 years on and it's still going strong still able to spray two pack clear over base without any issues at all no fluttering no problems whatsoever also a cool looking gun I like the designs on the side at that time I don't believe anyone else was making spray guns that looked quite that good they were also easy to set up and reasonably priced you weren't going to be set back much more than $450 that was at the time but for a gun that's lasted over 15 years that's definitely money well spent next up on the list is a gun that I haven't used very much it was an apprentice of mine that bought it but I really did like it straight away I used it for clear coat and it's the Anest Iwata LPH 400 he originally just bought it as a clear coat gun and out of respect I decided not to go and put any base coat through it although I have no doubt at all that this thing would spray base coat or 2k color without a problem at all you can see it's got a very nice fan on it I believe it's sort of halfway in between HVLP and conventional so it's not full HVLP where you're going to be getting really ugly thick orange peel but it's up to you how you spray and you'll be able to replicate just about any orange peel as you can see here I was able to match the orange peel on this Camry without a trouble at all it's a good looking gun with the chrome body on it not quite as snazzy as the GTI made by a Japanese company Anesto Iwata and the Japanese are quite well known for good quality engineering it's well priced so that most people will be able to afford it and it's not going to be money wasted at all when the gun is still going for you 20 years later Next up, we've got a new addition to my arsenal, which is the ANI R150 minigun. I believe that these days every painter does need a good quality minigun, and this one has impressed me so far. As you can see straight away, you're able to do larger areas. Some of the miniguns you would definitely struggle trying to paint a full bumper bar or a couple of panels with it. I probably wouldn't go and paint a bonnet with it, especially when I've got so many big guns that I can do it with. Got a 1mm fluid tip on it, so it still gets enough paint out, but the the size of the air cap is small enough that it's not going to be throwing out too much paint so this enables you to use less as a tradesman I think we all also need a half decent primer gun you can't go and rely on the apprentices to clean out the primer guns every single time you go to use them they seem to be clogged up so I think it's a good idea to have your own primer gun and I've been quite impressed with the air guns that AZ3 I've got it with the 1.8 mil fluid tip on it you can also get this gun with a 1.3 mil setup on it and that would be more more suited for clear coat, base coat and 2K color. I'm yet to use it for that, but I would imagine it's just as good as what it is for primer. I think this gun is priced appropriately. I wouldn't say the price is high. I wouldn't say the price is low. Much cheaper and you'd probably start questioning the quality. Much more expensive and you'd say it's a little bit overpriced. So under 200 Australian dollars, you'll be able to pick one of these up. Made by Air Gunza in Italy, a company owned by Anest Iwata. Next up is the Anest Iwata W400. I've got the Bellaria model, but the W400 as a spray gun, have been going for years barely even changed them because they probably haven't even had to they've got it just about right some people do say they don't quite put enough paint on but that may work in some people's favor in a way I do agree but as far as using an MS clear goes it's absolutely perfect it's fine for base coats 2k colors if you are having troubles getting enough fluid out just put a touch more thinners in there and you'll find it's absolutely awesome you can pump a lot of paint on there if you have to so you just wind that fluid out a bit I like to open that fan right up and as you can see you're able to get some really nice results with this spray gun they are reasonably priced and they're not going to send you out of business I've seen these go for under $400 I saw one on eBay Australia for $380 so I believe for the quality of gun that you are getting a tradesman quality gun 
for a reasonable price. Definitely worth giving a shot if you're looking at getting a new gun. Fifth place on my list is another Anest Iwata. It's the Anest Iwata Supernova. This gun was designed by Italian company Pininfarina, probably best known for its work designing some of the Ferraris. On looks alone, this gun just about deserves to be in my top 10, but it also does spray quite well. It's not quite as simple to use as some of the other guns, so it does take a little bit more setup, but once you know how to set that thing up, you'll actually be able to get some really top quality results with it. I was a little bit thrown off by it because I was used to the Devilbuses, whereas I would just leave that fan fully open. I found that after winding the fan in two full rotations on this gun, you'd get some really nice results out of it and it'd speed that gun right up. The gun is a little bit on the pricey side for me. I probably wouldn't be running out and buying one myself because I did just get that as a loan off a friend just to review, but it is a good quality gun made well. Coming in at number four is the only Sardajet that makes it into my top 10, and that's the Sardajet 5000 BRP. The gun should more go in the category of a cannon because this thing absolutely pumps the clear out. It was a no brainer for me to get it inside the top five, but I do feel a little bit ripped off after buying a gun for over $800. If I was to buy this from inside Australia, they wanted $1,200 for this model. I've got the 1.3 on it. I do prefer the RP. Not a big fan of the HVLP spray guns. Had it have not been for the high price, it probably would have made it up to one or even two. But as you can see here, it's able to get an absolutely amazing finish out of it. I would say it's a must have for most custom spray painters. So if you're doing finishes where you've got to get it absolutely as flat as possible and you really want a nice film build, something to protect that base coat, something that you can polish a lot over the years. Woo! Taking out third spot in the gunman's top 10 list is the Devilbus SGK, also known as the FLG5. They're absolutely reasonably priced. You can pick these up for as low as $180. I've seen them for on eBay. That's Australian dollars. American, that's probably $130 at the moment. Obviously, that price is going to vary as time goes on. It may go up, it may come down. Exchange rates will play a part in that. But for the price, this gun absolutely blows away any competition. Anything else for under 200 bucks, you will not spray this good and it will not last this good. I've got lots of people onto this gun and I'm yet to hear one person turn back around and say to me, gunman, what the hell are you doing getting me onto that gun? Because it is a good gun. Taking out second spot on the gunman's top 10 list of spray guns is the Devilis GPI. Again, this is another new addition to my arsenal. It was another easy decision for me to put this one in second spot because as you can see here, it sprays two-pack HS clear absolutely flawlessly. That's with a 1.4 mil fluid tip set up on it. It also comes with a 1.6 and 1.8 mil fluid tip. So that means that with this one gun, you can spray acrylic through the 1.6 and you can go and spray primer through the 1.8. So it's a one gun does it all, but it's a top quality one gun does it all. There's lots of other guns out there that are similar setups, but they're just El Cheapos, and from my experience, they're not quite as good as this gun. This gun's basically just a no frills Devilbus GTI Pro, and that gun probably did deserve to make it into the top 10, but with the GPI in there, I sort of in a way feel like the GTI Pro is in there anyway. And I'm sure some of you guys have already figured out which one's gonna be taking out the top spot in the gunman's top 10 spray guns of all time, and yes, that's it. The Devilbus GTI Pro Light. I've hardly got a bad thing to say about this gun. It's reasonably priced. There's a load of different cool looking designs that you can get with it. It's also known as the Technart Pro Light in the USA. I think you guys over there just get black. So that's a little bit boring compared to us over here in Australia and the UK and most of Europe. But trust me, that is really only a small part of the reason of why it does take the top spot. It's more about how this thing gets the paint on it, the versatility. So you can go from the TE10 air cap to the TE20, which you see me using here, my personal favorite setup, to the HV30, and you can change that gun from HVLP conventional to LVLP with the change of an air cap without having to go and buy another brand new spray gun or a full new setup for it. So versatility, this gun absolutely wins out. It does definitely have a good look to it as well. It's easy to set up, I find anyway, full fan, three or four turns out on that fluid, 20 to 25 PSI, 
settings for greatness. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this top 10 spray gun review of mine. It's an idea I had when I was watching another YouTube video and I thought, you know what? There is no top 10 spray gun reviews on YouTube. So I thought, why not do my own? These are all my personal opinions. If you think that there's a gun that should have made it in there, either let me know in the comments or make your own video. Go for it. I would watch yours because, hey, this is the only one out there at the moment. If you would like to see more in-depth reviews on some of the guns that I have included in this video, head out to thegunman.net.au. I've got a reviews section where I'll put all of my reviews into that one area and you'll be able to select the one that you would like to check out. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Now you've seen this video, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.